I got a question from Puya who has a text entry activity in Articulate Storyline and she wants that if a user clicks on the submit button without answering the question, the user won't see an incorrect feedback layer, but the message that the question must be filled in to continue. In this video, I'll explain how to set this up in Articulate Storyline. So as you can see, I already prepared a slide with a simple question. Now to set up a mandatory text entry functionality in Storyline, we need a text entry field, a submit button, a correct and incorrect feedback layer, a text that can be shown when the question is not answered, and when we have all elements in place, we need three triggers to make things work. But let's start with the text entry field. So the first step is to add a text entry field. So let's go to insert. I'll go to input. I'll select my text entry field box and I drag it on my screen. And now here you see there is a text entry field. And with every text entry field in Articulate Storyline, there is automatically a variable attached to it. And you see it here, it's text entry one because there is already another text entry field in this module. Now let's add a submit button. So I'll go to insert again, click on button. And let's choose this button type submit and I want an arrow and I want, don't want it left but I want it right so that's our submit button so I'll give this a proper name our submit button so what we now need is a correct and incorrect feedback layer so this will be our correct layer and what it will do now is I apply the team layouts for the correct and incorrect layer so if I am on my slide layer I can right click on my slide with my right mouse I'll go to apply layout and now you see the feedback layers. So I'll choose here correct feedback. And now can I type that's correct. And now let's add an incorrect feedback layer. So I'll add a new la layer, incorrect. Go to my slide again, right mouse click, apply layout and incorrect feedback. And now I'll type that's wrong. Right answer is Red. So and now we need the text field uh, that the user can see that he doesn't fill in the question. So I'll go back to the base layer of this slide. Now I could go to the insert tab and go to a text field, but what I also can do is press Ctrl and T on my t on my keyboard, and you'll see uh, you can now start typing. So I'll paste the text that I already prepared. Do something with alignment and what I'll do now on state step, I'll set the initial state to hidden because we won't want to see this text. We want only to see this text if a user doesn't has filled in the, the entry field and clicks the submit button. And now that we have all re uh, items in place, uh, let's add the triggers that we need. So we'll start with the first trigger and therefore what I will do is I'll select the submit button. So if I'll do this and I'll go to triggers add new trigger, you see that it's automatically set to when a user clicks on the submit button. And the action will be instead of jump to slide, show layer, and it will be layer correct. And I'll also add a condition. And the condition here is if text entry, and I'll choose is a, a equal to, but ignore case, red. And ignore case here means that storyline doesn't uh, pay attention to capital letters in the given answer. So this means that red with a capital letter and also with, uh, without a capital letter are both correct for this question. So let's click on OK right now. And you'll see we've created the first trigger. Now let's add the incorrect trigger. So my button is uh, selected. So I'll go to triggers, new trigger. So the when is when the user clicks button submit. And now I'll show layer incorrect. And we'll give two conditions right now. So the first one is when text entry field is not equal to the answer red. But we need another condition. And that condition is when text entry field is not equal to blank. And this condition we need because if we don't have this condition and a user fill, uh, doesn't fill in the text entry field and he clicks up on submit, he will be shown uh, the incorrect layer and that is something we won't want. So I'll click on OK. Now let's preview what we've got so far. So I'll go to preview this slide. So I'm now in storyline preview mode. So let's type in red 
and click on the submit button and you'll see we'll see our correct layer right now so let's replay this slide um now type in blue that's not correct because the right answer is red and all so show what we'll do if we doesn't type anything then doesn't some and then nothing happens but that's okay because we need another trigger to create the functionality that if a user doesn't fill in the text entry field and he clicks on submit he will be shown this text item so i'll have my submit button selected and let's add the third trigger and this will be a change state of trigger so let's go to change state of and i want the change state of of this text box from hidden to normal and i want it when the user clicks on button submit and i want it only when the text entry field is blank so when a user doesn't fills in anything in the text entry field then this will be shown so let's click on ok and let's preview it right now so let's go to preview and this slide again so let's see what happens if we don't fill in the answer and click on submit. So I'll click on submit right now and you'll see you must fill in an answer before you can click on submit. And if I type in red right now and I click on submit, you see that is correct. So what I will do right now is let's run through the triggers in detail once more. So I'll close my preview because why do we need two conditions on the incorrect trigger? And I will show you and I'll click on submit. So I'll copy my incorrect trigger, paste it. And what I'll do now is I will disable this trigger and on this trigger, I will delete the second condition. So I'll delete this one and let's go to preview again. So I'll click on preview. And now if we don't fill in our answer and click on submit, you see two things happen. The wrong answer will be shown and also on the background, you see the text. Now, and we don't want the wrong answer slide layer to be shown and therefore we need the two conditions so delete this one and show this one so therefore we need text entry is not equal to red because then the end the answer is incorrect but also that the text entry is not blank because when the text entry is blank we want only to show this text so I hope this makes it clear how to create a mandatory text entry field in Articulate Storyline. Now, do you have your own question about Articulate Storyline? Place it in the comments below and maybe I'll create a video for you in the upcoming weeks. I'm transforming my Articulate Storyline classroom training and also my YouTube tutorials to a laser focused online course on how to create engaging e-learning training with Articulate Storyline. Now, are you interested? You can join my waiting list and you'll be the first one to know when my online course will launch. You can find the link to the waiting list in the description of this video below. And if you want to create great engaging yearly in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you then hit the like button below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos